is the Khalistan issue losing its steam? It so happened in last few days there were news of three Khalistanis back to back and rumors of involvement of Indian spy agencies. The actual story comes very close to how NIA and Indian intelligence agencies had infiltrated into terrorist group PFI. We'll tell you both the stories but before we move forward don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel. So first of all what were the incidents connected to Khalistanis? Pakistan based Khalistani a narco terrorist Harvinder Singh Rinda apparently died on November 19th. The exact dates are not confirmed yet but a day after that another Khalistani Happy Sangera was assassinated at his doorstep in Italy. And then came the news that Khalistani terrorist Kulwinder Jeet Singh or Khan Puria was deported from Thailand and arrested by NIA. The twist in the story is the Khalistani groups have realized they have been infiltrated by Indian intelligence agencies and now they are having a gang war amongst them. So we present you the story we know. In down south an audio was circulating on social media of apparently a pro PFI man who had claimed that Indian intelligence agencies men were living in labor camps in Kerala and collected enough proof against PFI and struck them with a hammer of ban when they least expected it. The same strategy is now at play against pro Khalistani group many say and it's already too late for them to react. Rinda an ISI back Khalistani terrorist involved in many cases across many Indian states had sneaked into Pakistan some time ago via Nepal in fact Indian agencies were even able to leak his video from Lahore NIA had put a bounty of rupees 10 lakh on his head recent reports said he was planning to increase the intensity of terrorist attacks in Punjab and he had begun moving his resources This is when he was hospitalized due to drug overdose and he died. We leave it to your imagination as to how he got the overdose. Next victim was Khalistani terrorist Happy Sangera. A Facebook post of Canada based gangster Lakbir Singh or Landa Harike, a close aide of Rinda said that Happy Sangera gave information on Pak backed terrorist Rinda to Indian intel agencies and this is why Landa Harike's gang eliminated Happy Sangera. This bit could be true as Happy was eliminated a day after Rinda's death. Landa is already involved in multiple murders within and outside India. He in his Facebook post had mentioned how Happy Sangera was also involved in leaking information of another Khalistani Baljeet Mali who is now in the jail. But then even if Indian agencies didn't take down Happy, one Khalistani less means reduced burden on our agencies isn't it third khalistani who made news was kulwinder singh or khan puria another aide of rinda he had been absconding since 2019 and nia had declared rupees 5 lakh for information on him which reports say helped in his arrest he was apparently flying to india from bangkok and arrested at the international airport in delhi The story comes very close to how a man involved in a defense camp in India was picked up from his bathroom tub inside his villa in Middle East and brought back to India. It's fairly obvious that a man like Khan Puria who was on the radar of Indian agencies would dare not enter India and he was likely picked up from Thailand a country with which India has signed defense cooperation deals. Some reports say that he apparently was coming to India from Pakistan via Bangkok. Whatever be the case he was finally arrested and that's what matters to those who still dream of Khalistan happy Khalistan or an empty space by the way if you want to watch the story on how raw picked up an absconder from his tub watch the link in the description or the link given above also if you've lasted this far please do not forget to support our video by sharing it and giving your feedback in the comment section jai hind jai bharat